I sat in my room in my underwear for two weeks looking for all the hidden orbs. Evan, oh, Tyler, so not to try and make it biased. What? Best breakfast place. I don't eat a lot of breakfast places, man. Like, I don't think I've Perkins ever Perkins and Castleton is the best breakfast place you'll ever go to. Non-local. That's a local place. Non-local. Like a chain? Yeah. It was brought to my attention after I shot this segment that Perkins is not just a local place. There are chains of it. It's just not as big of a chain as, say, a Bob Evans, a Denny's, an IHOP, or a Waffle House. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I just want to know. Uh, I want to know what the Christian boy thinks. God. I'd say probably probably either Denny's or Bob Evans. Dude, no! Okay. okay, Denny's blows cock. Actually, yes. No, I take that back. Bob Evans is terrible. Every time I go there, it's Yeah, nasty. Bob I Evans is Den Denny's. No, dude, okay. I so would agree Bob Evans is I better than Bob Denny's. Bob Evans, like, as a thing with my grandpa. Yeah. So that's why I have, Just like, a nostalgic heard. value to it. Yeah. Uh, it has to be Waffle House, right? Yeah. This well, place I, is all right. It's I, not the best. The thing is, I, I, to me, I, IHOP is my favorite. IHOP's pretty good. I've never had IHOP, so I'm not qualified to answer this question, but I am qualified to say Denny's blows. Yes, well, if you haven't... We gotta go next time, guys. Especially when they make them. Sausage, egg, and cheese. I used to get that shit all the time. I like it with that cheese. Yeah, fucking yeah, baby! There's an eye on the back of Daisy's head. Here, you flip through stuff. It can sometimes be a challenge, and when he does like it, it's that much more of a challenge. I was mm -hmm. telling him, even if he knows like this, like there's extra s rules and steps you have to take. In battling, you can it. like against your friend, you can like strategically let something die to get a better advantage. But in nuzlocks, you can't use that strategy. Yeah, because it exactly. just dies. And like what, uh, what I saw, it's like I don't know. It's just with the over leveling and stuff. I feel like you could definitely, if you were you don't have to try, you can yeah, just smash you can A. Just, you just do it. You know. I, I, like I just don't think the games were designed to be hard. And anyone that thinks Game Freak still is trying to make Pokemon games difficult well, needs to really... Yeah, they're definitely like, not. Open their I eyes. I think everybody can agree that they're not. Because like, open if the game can still be fun and everyone can win, then it's going to sell better. Yeah. That just opens the door to more people to finish the game. Yeah. So... Like I said, if I, like I owned the, the most like profitable franchise in the world... What do you do? They break, like in the old game. So they break? They break when you use them once. Oh! Oh! Regular TMs, which are for, like, things you can use forever, and then you have, like, rare moves. So they made TMs one thing, instead of a TM and an HM. Yeah. Yeah. Well, HMs have always never been things you could get rid of, but then TMs and HMs both were that way. And then they separated it back into that again. Yeah, so that's what I'm TMs saying. are HMs. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. They made TMs one thing. But my corpse is like a tasty like some collar type red. But a double tap the zombie with the bullet to the head. Brains is flattered on the walls with the hollow point spread. And Scotty took my body to his backyard shed. Now my soul is with some skeletons led by Lord Zed. Man, the afterlife is fucking weird. Although it's not as bad as anything. I really don't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to reenact that? <laughs> Why did I make this? You get 20 views, that's 24 now, we just gave him one. I'm trying to get in the headspace of where I was. I mean, even the video is ambiguous. I think. The title. It's just a I question exactly mark. exactly what this was, I can remember it now. What would it be? Okay. okay. I think this was in high school. It was seven years ago. It would have been in college. That was during the depths of the deepest, darkest depression I can remember. <laughs> and boredom. Oh and my I god. One night I was like, Oh my god. I'm just gonna make stupid faces into the camera for myself and never show anyone. <laughs> Evan Jennings, the Riddler. <laughs> Back to them later after playing the 3D. I don't know. 
I was like, no you know, this is pretty chill. It's like uh, pastels. Like, that's what it reminds me of, like colored pencils. And I oh, liked the 2D amazing. animations looked like fluid and professional compared to like when clickbait. Gold, Silver, and Crystal did it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just have a newfound respect for it. It just sucks. That's fair. It fucking, like, it just, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't look appealing, man. It's definitely different. And how dare you fucking question my skills as a trainer? That's just your opinion. Dude. My fucking... <laughs> College students, Chromebooks. I guess. Okay. No, for real, cause like kids, kids hate, kids hate weight. Kids hate weight. Yeah. Get them a Chromebook. That thing is fucking light. Okay, but seriously, I know that people have some critical flaws with Chromebooks as a concept, but I like mine. I've had it for almost, I've had it for two years now, and I like this thing. It's, it's. If I'm not doing anything super taxing, if I'm just going on the road or if I'm going somewhere and I'm not doing any intensive work. Uh, like editing videos or anything, I just take my Chromebook. It's it's right there. I'm always gonna find a place with Wi-Fi. I like it. It's it's lightweight and it's easy to use. Pokemon while they're inside the box, and it's just the digital world. Digital. Really kind of cool. I think so. There's some kind of. Uh... Digital hacking error to the PC, and none of the trainers can get to the Pokemon. And so the Pokemon trapped inside have to figure out how to free themselves so they can see their trainers again. But Game Freak would not put that much thought into the video. Oh, game. No, dude. Uh, so I realized I didn't talk about this point in a recording, but Evan's idea that he was talking about in the last clip was a Pokemon Digimon crossover game where. You have the Pokemon game, but inside the PC, the Pokemon are like Digimon. Um, and I think that would be a cool idea. Um, however, it would be even cooler to make it like the Oracle games that Nintendo made with Zelda, where there are two different stories, an A story and a B story, but how, whichever order you play the game first dictates how the other one's going to play story-wise. Um, and it would be even cooler... Which I didn't talk about with Evan or Tyler, but if they had two different gameplay styles. So the Digimon game plays like Digimon World or something like that. And the Pokemon game plays like Pokemon. Um, and the story changes reflective of how, which depending on which game you played first. And then it'd be cool. Which springboards into my idea that... How fucking cool of a concept was the or were the Oracle games for Zelda? Like, they were the same world, but the story was different from each other. And it's so fucking fascinating, man. Like, how the fuck did they... They basically programmed two games on the same cartridge, but the story beats... Consensus? He's dope. You're you're a you're a Wario boy. Parts on people gives me pink eye. It's so it's immoral. It's like a you know insult to injury. Uh, yeah. Honestly, Terry's really fucking dope, man. Like he controls like a fucking SNK character. You could tell a lot of love went to his design. Like like, it feels like a great extension of like Ken and Ryu into something else mechanic wise. His stage is pretty dope too. I like that it has like a wall cap and then it's like an insta kill. It's a cool fucking stage, man. He's a cool character. He's fun. Like, that's a good... That would have been a good final fighter <laughs> to add to the roster for this pack, but there's one more. So it's got to be bigger than Terry. Who's going to be bigger than that kind of fighting character? I... Ah, oh, that's weird. I don't know. That's... That's a good question that everyone's asking themselves. Everyone's asking it for him. But Terry's cool, man. He's got a lot of really dope moves. His moveset's really unique feeling. Like I said, it feels like an expansion on Ryu and uh, Ken, but in like a in like a way that matches the franchise he's in, just like every other character they've added in the Smash. Smash Ultimate is so fucking good. God, I have so many like I have such a vivid opinion about it, even though I don't even own a fucking Switch. What the fuck? Simon's Simon's the mascot, Tyler, oh, of Castlevania, not Alucard. Right. 
Posted it as like a one-off throwaway joke. What the fuck are you trying to do, man? <laughs> Thank you.